This is uh, John's Sonics that we're putting together. Just want to make a short video here of some stuff I've got. I've got the uh, engine probes coming out here and coming across, running across the top of the engine mount to the other side for those cylinders. Over here for these cylinders. We've got mag wires coming out one hole with the two other wires for um, starter contactor and master contactor and I want to keep these mag wires separate so I'm going to put another uh, glue on if you can see it there, a glue on stud or tie point to the underside of the engine mount so the wires can loop down go to the one emag and then run it over top the other side to the other one uh, we run the starter wire across the top of the engine mount. Got to put another tie point right here. It's tied in here. And then loops down. We're going to put another tie point here with the uh, starter and master solenoid wire. So that's all common stuff that can run together. And then I got to ring out some wires for the alternator. These wires up here eventually connect down here. I'll have to lengthen them. Down here you got the uh, shunt, the alternator output is going to come, actually the regulator, this is the regulator, you got to have one wire coming out to here, I've got the ammeter shunt uh, pickup wires for the dynan, and then I've got another, you actually use another pick off there for the tack. So these all, these three get fused, fused folders on them and uh, we'll wrap up this side you got some wires that run underneath here in a clamp a clamp and clamp assembly and this is oil pressure and oil temperature oil pressure is up here and oil temperature is down here so that's pretty straightforward on that side over here if you come over here you can see along the top of the engine mount I've got these click bond tie points comes across and we're going to run our wires here for the uh, Jabiru 3300. Down here we've got the battery box. He may have to modify this a little bit with a hinge here so we can pry it out. It might be a little messy getting this out of here but uh, he showed me how he does it. It's a, it's a little tight but we'll, we might uh, come back and revisit that part. If you can see in there we've got the master contactor and the starter solenoid is down there so everything let's see you got hot off the bus here or hot off the battery through the master contactor to make our hot bus along the top jumps over with a heavy wire to the starter solenoid and then you've got one wire running over to the ammeter shunt so that's where the ammeter power is going to come in and then you've got your wire here in the tie points that runs in to the VP50 control box. That's the electronic uh, brain for the thing here. And if you see something you don't like, uh, we're still working through stuff. And I've just got a lot of stuff temporary tied. Those are, you know, those are small tie wraps to hold that in. And we're going to have a ground here off the main battery here. And we're also going to run a, a ground wire up this tube and connect it somewhere on the case for the engine ground. Need a good engine ground. So coming up here, he's working on the windshield, he's working on the canopy, I'm working on the electrical and the avionics in here. Underneath here you can kind of see the red box is the VP50 so you got the heavy wire coming into that and you've got a bunch of inputs and outputs and a control assembly and there's the control assembly and all of these switches are user assignable um, external master switch but avionics lights you got a flap override here or a trim override you got a couple different positions but this is the panel and we've got an intercom over here little David Clark VP50 we've got the GTX 327 and the SL30 Navcom. We're going to also feed in 
uh, GPS. Uh, we're going to mount something over here. Probably one of the new Garmin Era 510s, 500 or 510 depending on what he wants. This is the uh, Flight Deck D180 from Dynan and the HS34 gives us some HSI features and nav switching. We can change the nav source from GPS to nav with that. So it's kind of nice. So everything's going in pretty nice. We've got tie points up and over to tie our harness in. And there's the header tank or the, the tank. It's kind of up above everything. But it's coming along nicely. We're going to run some nav and com coaxes back there and we're going to be wrapping up the uh, wrapping up the electrical system getting to try stuff out. So it looks like uh, we'll be doing that shortly.